Uh, fewer young people aged 16 to 25 are stepping forward as blood donors. The Singapore Red Cross is reporting that numbers have fallen by more than 40% over the last decade. The slide is worrying as demand for blood has risen 4% over the past five years and it is expected to keep rising as the population ages. Sabrina Ng with this report. His journey as a blood donor started in honour of his late father almost a decade ago. This 27-year-old has contributed more than 10 litres of blood over the years. And he's about to do it for the 30th time. I want to contribute back to the society by like, uh, helping others that are in need. Because my late father also been through a lot of surgeries that needed blood transfusion for his life. And then I recall he told me that uh, it's okay to have the courage to save others' lives when, when he have the ability to. Lah. So I decided to give it a go and that kickstart my journey of blood donation. <laughs> But the number of young donors like him has been steadily dropping from almost 14,000 in 2021 to just around 12,000 last year. Singapore Red Cross says the transition from student to working life could have led to them taking a break from donating. Others who are keen were turned away as they had low blood iron levels, which could be caused by a low iron diet or vigorous exercise. All these while the demand for blood continues to rise. The Singapore Red Cross says 15 units of blood, about 6.7 litres, are used in Singapore every hour of the day. It needs to collect about 400 units of blood daily to meet the needs of patients. Aged population, I mean, it increase in Singapore, it comes with health issues. And if it comes with health issues, one of the issues would be blood donation, blood transfusion, right? So that's where we need the younger generation to come forward and donate. The agency is stepping up youth engagement by tapping social media and partnering with institutes of higher learning to organise blood donation drives. Blood is used by patients daily in a range of procedures, from heart surgeries to minor accidents and general medicine. Currently, stocks in Singapore are at a moderate to healthy level, apart from blood group O+. Blood donation is typically low during the year-end period, long weekends and school holidays. Now that's because donors tend to travel during these periods of time. It's why Red Cross Singapore is urging for more to step forward before they leave for holiday.